That's good. We also have upgraded internet, so... Let's see whether or not that makes a material difference. Hmm. What's really disappointing, unfortunately, is, is that I'm not getting full line speed to this computer. Hello, Juke Juke. Hello. Say hello to everyone. With your big, fat, flappy tongue. He's certainly got eyes for you. Once he's breakfast. <laughs> Camera's there, Muppet. <clears throat> really? Really? So if you started at lunchtime, what time did you finish? Uh, about 11 o'clock. 11 hours. Were you doing a boon? Uh, no, just sitting around the house trying to be warm. Right. Failing usually because we're sitting outside on the <laughs> southern side of the house <laughs> in the strong westerly winds. So it was like 12 degrees out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I think I need to close the door. If those two idiots wreck the rest of the house. <sighs> <laughs> Hmm. So what time have you got to disappear? Uh, could be as soon as half an hour. Right. But also somewhere up to an hour. Right. It's uh, one of those potentially flexible things. Mm. But not flexible in a way that is uh, helpful. No. That's all right. Not really. I mean, give a firm start time so that people can actually, you know, plan things out. Yeah, well, that would involve effort. Well, it just involves being organised. Yeah, being organised involves effort. I don't know. I'd rather be organised than disorganised. As given as I am to bouts of spontaneity, I'd rather be organised than disorganised. Yeah, this is true. I'd rather know where I'm going, what I'm doing, and how the hell I'm getting there. All of that takes a little... Well, I was going to say it takes a little bit of effort to figure out. It's not that hard. Just don't be a Muppet. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't think people can help being Muppets, can they? work at it. <laughs> it doesn't take much practice. I just thought I'd um, get a base covering on this before going back to the arachnid. Yeah, fair enough. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. It doesn't really make that much of a difference on the Sterling mud I found. No, because it's really uh, dark. Mm, yeah. But it certainly does on the um, Astro Granite. Yeah. Uh, it, it actually really brings Astro Granite out, I think. Mm. This one yeah, really is... Agree. This one is Armageddon Dunes. Yeah. Which actually, if you say it really quickly, sounds like you've got a Spotify subscription. <laughs> so what are you painting? Uh, 
barbarian barbarians. Barbarian barbarians. Yeah. That'd be very uncivilized. Yeah, they will look pretty dirty, these like. Saw something really interesting the other night. We've been watching um, episodes of Digging for Britain. Mm -hmm. And um, not the least of which because I have a serious crush on Professor Alice Roberts. Um, but they exhumed a Dark Age burial, which was a burial in a chariot. So this was, the body was laid in a chariot on top of a shield. The chariot was hitched to two horses that were also buried upright in situ. You think about the kind of effort it takes to go and bury two horses upright. That's a pretty big hole. I mean, it was a damned big hole, but that would have been a damned lot of effort. Very expensive funeral. Well, I doubt they did it for Joe Blow from down at Boggs. No, it might have been Joe Blow's supplier. But... Well, certainly his superior. Hmm. Some kind of... They reckon it was some kind of chieftain, some kind of local big man, notable, whatever. I mean, you know, obviously it's all speculation, but they did a facial reconstruction of him based on his skeleton and everything like that, and he was... Um, uh, quite the imposing man. Five foot eight, which is pretty big for mm. that, that sort of time. I think yeah, modern, modern man is. Well, I think the average height of modern man is five eight or five nine now. One hundred and seventy centimeters, I think, yeah. is the global average. Yeah. But it, the global average is a lot higher than it used to be. Oh, heck yeah. Everyone walking around 2,000 years ago is five foot tall. Yeah. Even in Japan. Like, okay. Um, my sister went to Japan as part of a school trip in 2000. Yeah. The host stay family she was staying with, the, the elder of the two daughters was the tallest girl in her entire school. Yeah. At five foot ten and a half. Right. And that's pretty tall. Yeah. She was, you know, senior year, so I guess mm -hmm. grade, grade 12 equivalent, 18 yep. years old. Yep. My sister being 15 going on 16 and already six foot. Mm -hmm. But that monstrous height in Japan has come about from the gradual westernization of the diet. They've yeah. got more protein in it. Mm. More ready ex more readily accessible protein in the diet, and that's why people are drawn so big. Mm. Who knows where we'll end up in another thousand years? Average at seven foot tall. Well, with skeletal problems, no doubt. Mm. So I don't think the human skeleton. Well, who knows how it evolves to cope with that kind of thing? But yeah, uh, well, if we move into space permanently. <laughs> We'll, well, we'll, we'll nine, get tall. Nine foot tall and nine inches thick. <laughs> yeah. uh, I've been invaded by dogs again, so there may be some more noise. Yeah, more than just that. <laughs> oh, people love dogs. People love cats. They do. People love them on streams. People don't really love them when they come and jump on them when they're attempting to paint, though, I have found. Well, that's also probably true. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? That thing just creeps into view. Well, it didn't creep into view. It sort of rushed into view. Sort of all, all legs and palps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Maddie, I'm sorry. No, you're not. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, did I tell you? I sent an email 
to RPE requesting the next lot of stuff and the line I put at the bottom was and um, because I have a partner with arachnophobia and I'm not a very nice guy can I have another one of these please <laughs> You really want to die alone, don't you? <laughs> yes, in an unmarked grave. On the plus side, it's been raining like Billy over the last sort of 15, 20 hours. Not, not consistently and not torrential, but good solid rain. And mm. there are no water issues. Well, that is good. Hmm. Um, did I tell you I did the driveway? Finished the driveway? Uh, you didn't say you'd finished it. Okay, so the driveway's finished out the front. So we got um, a, 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 a relative, so son of Joe's brother-in-law. What does that make him? Nephew-in-law. Yeah, I think so. Sort of. Um, he drives excavation machinery actually think he does more than that um for a housing development company and um so he brought a machine up and cut it all out with the machine so it took two inches out and um we ordered a couple of meters of 20 mil crushed rock and um although i think it's gravel not crushed rock and a whole bunch of weed mat so laid the weed mat and spread the gravel into it. But while we were doing it, um, Dwayne, who was driving the machine, uncovered a, an ag drain down in front of the house that had basically had dirt compacted in on top of it. So um, cleared the top of that and loosen the gravel that was around it. The guys that had put it in had put it in properly. It's just the guys that had, had um, cleaned the house up for sale had thrown a whole bunch of dirt, um, black bark down over the top and anyhow. So cleared it all out and now there's not water line in front of the house. It, Wonderful. Uh, it runs down in and around and under the gravel along the weed mat and into the egg pipe and around the house and into the pit and down the now unblocked drain to the stormwater. So, bonus. Well, sounds like it's the way it's meant to work. Yeah. <laughs> Who'd have thought a little bit of maintenance would mean that your backyard didn't turn into... <clears throat> well, having said that, the backyard is still a swamp. But well, you got to give it time to dry out. Yeah, it just... Yes. Yes, I do. But I've also got to get paving down to be able to get to the workshop without walking through the mud. Well, knowing you, you'll build a bridge. Uh, no. no. It'll just be paving. <laughs> Hello, Willow. Thanks for the cough. You know me, I don't get over things, so building bridges is not my... Well, I, I was just thinking from you what doing, you know, not half ass things, do it with your whole ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nothing half assed here, I use my whole ass. That's right. So how are you enjoying that particular, I dread to say, miniature? <laughs> Not that small. Yeah, well, this is the funny thing. I'm painting a miniature that is probably larger than its real world equivalent. Yeah, it could... Mm. I don't right. think I've come across many huntsmen that would be this big. Yeah, but it's not a huntsman. Well, this is true. It's a tarantula. And, but then I've never really come across 
tarantulas that live too far south. I understand that tarantulas can grow up to two foot. I think two foot's a bit big. I've heard 30 centimetres. Did you want to do a little bit of Google Foo? Ah, and... uh, yeah. I think this is something I read in an old Encyclopedia Britannica. Right. That's where I got the two foot thing from, I think. So... My ex-girlfriend's family had a set of Britannica from 1938, or was it 36? I can't remember. Anyhow, it's really interesting to see the world geopolitical maps. Swastikas everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yes. German West Africa. Hmm. Mm. Uh, so the Goliath bird eater tarantula uh, grows up to 175 grams and up to 13 centimeters in length. Right. But it is second to the giant huntsman by Legspan. Right. Well, 13 centimeters isn't two foot, thankfully. No, but not bloody too far away from it, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> The giant huntsman has a 30 centimetre leg span. Yeah, that's what I thought. 30 centimetres. And that's horrific, okay? Like, Fuck, it is, it is giving me the fucking creeps on this Wikipedia page. I, Fuck you, Wikipedia. I don't care who you are. I don't care how much in love with spiders you are. A spider that big is going to give you pause. Uh, Willow's trying to chew Duke's face off again. I apologise for the noise. It's not really coming through, to be honest, unless you talk. Good thing I spent the money on a headset then. <laughs> yeah. Which reminds me. Hmm. The reason I put my contacts in this morning, so I could wear a beanie under my headset. Right. <laughs> so that I could be warm for once. So, so <laughs> beanie glasses and headset doesn't work. No, it doesn't. The um, Between the beanie and the headset, it presses the glasses. Yeah. Legs into the side of my head and it's not comfortable. No, it's not. There we go, much warmer. So we had a couple of hard frosts this week. Not something we often see here, but it does happen from time to time. Yeah. We, we don't get a lot of them either, to be honest. We had two this week. Walking Willow the other morning and... I got to a certain section and it's sort of a dip down in where the creek is and you could feel the air temperature drop by a couple of degrees as we were going down the slope. And I texted Joe and said, what temperature does your car say it is? Because she was driving to work and she mm. just got into the foothills of the Dandenongs and she rang me up and gleefully said it was zero degrees. So, oh, that's pretty crazy. Hmm. Brisbane had its second coldest day on record on Tuesday. Right. Maximum temperature 12.1 degrees. Mm. Yeah, see, that's not warm. No, no, it wasn't. <laughs> that was uh, pretty crazy. Yeah. It was a combination of the strong westerly winds. Yeah. Overcast for a couple of days and raining. Yeah. Not heavy, but enough. enough. Like we didn't we didn't get New South Wales level of rain, fortunately, this time. Yeah. Those poor idiots still in Lismore. They ought to abandon Lismore. It's sitting in a crater. <laughs> the water has got nowhere to go. 
right. but towards the center of the town because it's sitting it's sitting in a natural bowl like a, a crater or something. Yeah. They can't they haven't plumbed the water to get out. It's just gonna evaporate off. It's stu- it's a stupid place to build a town. Right. Hydrologically speaking. Right. So of course it's gonna flood when it rains there for several days. A week. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, you can we get some more dams built in this country, please? <laughs> no, seriously, we haven't had a dam built in over 20 years, and now we're crying that it floods sometimes. Mm. Well, you've had a little bit of experience with where the rain will fall, yes. So, manage it, yes. Even if they put a pipe yeah, on to let the water of... out, right. Well, oh, that would be expensive. That'd be more expensive than building a dam somewhere. Hmm. But seriously, just stop building in Lismore. Stop living there. Hello, it's like hello. living. <laughs> oh, isn't she cute? She's the cutest psychopath you've ever met. Mm. Aren't you, Muppet? I'm just go- mentally going back through the uh, history of girlfriends. Yours or mine? Well, mine. Right. I don't know all of yours. <laughs> it's probably for the best. Probably. Which one of them most resembled the tarantula? There have been a few hairy brunettes. <laughs> one or two. Stripey legs. There has been one who did wear striped tights. There you go. What was her name? I'm not sure I should say. Oh. Kate. Well, make one up then. You sure it's Kate? Kate? Not Bob? Mm, yeah. Kate with a C. Right. Um... Maybe I should Wait. name this spider in honour. <laughs> I was just thinking that you should get Don to do a portrait of Gabriel Galasta, or a portrait inspired by Gabriel Galasta mm. for the Demon World book. I'm not sure who that is. She played Kate. Oh, in Blackadder? In Blackadder. Yeah, right. Well, there's an idea. One of one of the elves. Well, you can actually have a Kate in the book <laughs> and then call it Bob. Well, uh, you saw... King, th- King of the Elves. <laughs> King of the Elves. <laughs> did you see the live stream result from this week? I did see it, yeah. I haven't watched the whole thing through, but yeah. I did see it. I thought it was pretty good. It is pretty good. Oh, that'll be going in the book, so. Was it your idea to get Mr. Idle involved? Nope. Or? Well, then I like Don even more. Hmm. He does seem to have a good sense of humour about this sort of thing. He does. It's just appropriately wacky enough for my taste. He was asked for a bit of wacky. He's asked for a bit of slapstick. So he has delivered that. <laughs> the Three Stooges. <laughs> That was brilliant. Um, he's in the process of doing layup at the moment. So hopefully by the end of today, tomorrow, we've got a book that's laid up that going going through proofreading. Mm. Hopefully. Because we're down to two weeks. <laughs> uh, no oh, problem. so you're all... When are, you, when are you taking off for stateside? Is that a month away? 29th. 29th, wow. This is not a month away. It's about no, three it's weeks. Not. It was three weeks yesterday, I think. It's crazy. Yeah. There was a... An oh fuck moment. <laughs> so I don't think it was yesterday morning. It was the morning before 
when you know, I was sort of starting to think about what I needed to do in my head and and, and it was like you only have two more weekends so well, it's a shame you're probably out of leave you can't take a week off in the lead up to the trip I am oh, unless yeah. I dip into my long service and I don't really want to do that yet so what do you think yeah. of that yeah. so far Aside from terrifying, aside from terrifying, I mean, yeah, it's a good paint job. It's an appalling model. <laughs> we are never going to get past that, I'm afraid. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> You're the one asking for the opinion of an arachnophobia. Yeah, well. I do appreciate you painting it mostly out of shot. <laughs> that way I can ignore the picture in picture. <laughs> I'll need to move. Hang on. I just, I was thinking about it and I was thinking that there was something missing and I thought, oh, don't a lot of these things have rings on their legs and stripes on their mm. bodies and stuff so i hence. do think it is a good addition i think if you look at the, the legs from one side to the other i think the ones with the rings on them are definitely better and this is going to get a uh, secret sourcing anyway but yeah We've also got a bunch of stuff to paint that's got to go with me that I haven't done yet. Jeez. Oh, I was going to prep those, but I ran out of time. Last minute decision to go and get another COVID booster shot last night. I mean, that scuppered the evening. I'm surprised you're still standing. Uh, I haven't had any reaction to any of them. And and what was really interesting is is that um, she talked me into getting the flu shot at the same time. So Our Doctors have been pushing that really hard recently. I've, um, no well, one wants them. She's just a pharmacist, but just a pharmacist. You know, she's the pharmacist, not a doctor, but she was like, you know, you could get this out of the way. Um, there's going to be no you know, no additional side effect over what you're facing with the COVID one anyway. And um, if you are going overseas and you are going to be around a lot of people, it's probably worthwhile. I'm like, uh-huh. I totally understand that. It's That's a fair call to make. Mm. My, um, my boss brought back uh, a dose with him from Texas because they were at a management conference and... He, um, he thinks he caught it in the airport, but I'm going to be at a convention centre with an awful lot of other people, so. Mm. Yeah, I know. So one of the guys I was having a drink with yesterday, mm. a drink. Uh, uh, <laughs> one at a time. He's was like, it one at a time? Well, no, not no. this. <laughs> there was a bottle of whiskey and a bottle of tequila as well. And that's one way to keep warm. A whiskey shot. drink, a lager drink, a cider drink. Yeah. Um, anyway, he's a big believer in getting his shots every year. Right. And this year he got his flu vaccine as well. Mm -hmm. And then he promptly came down crook for a week because yeah. he, you know, it's a vaccine vaccine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then he put his elderly parents into uh, a similar state for about a week Oof. after they bought it from him. Oof. That's not good. No. So as soon as the parents were well, they jumped on a plane to go to Darwin because it's too fucking cold in Brisbane. <laughs> Weren't the people of Darwin <laughs> complaining how cold it was? Yeah, down to 17 degrees. Yeah. Stay there. 
And that's unheard of in Darwin. Mm. There would have been people dying. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong. Like the UK getting four days of 30 degrees or over in a row. Mm. People dropping dead in people the street. People dropping dead in the street. Actually, my Russian friend said that when Moscow does that, when it gets over 30 for a couple of days in a row, people literally do die because their housing is not designed for that. Nope. Their housing is designed to retain warmth because for a greater part of the year, Moscow's under snow. <laughs> and they've got those big, big central building heating systems, but they don't have big central building cooling systems. Or big central heating off switches. Uh, they do switch them off for three months in the <laughs> summer because they've got to maintain them. So they turn them off, cool them down, fix them, then turn it back on again. That's what she was saying. There's a three-month shutdown every year of the heaters. And I can only go on what she says because she's a resident. Yeah, fair. I've, I've never been there. Oh, thanks, Willow. Just quite whatever that was onto my feet. Camera to catch up. <laughs> <laughs> At least she's not likely to bring you a dead bird. Well, no, because... Because she's not a cat. <sighs> Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. A very lovely interruption. If somewhat teeth and tongue. <laughs> Where was I? Right. So yeah, because I have so little time left and so many things to do, I'm probably just going to pull a pin when you disappear and and we'll just run a short episode and have a well, longer we one. We are seeming to approach that point. Right. Have you been notified? Well, not officially. Right. Is this going to be an external notification or an internal notification? Well, I doubt Twitch will scream at me. Right. I'm keeping my eyes and ears open. Right. It's a nice distraction from the fucking spider. <laughs> so what are you... Catherine those presents your implication. Hmm? How are you going to do the eyes? Are they going to be horrible red or... Pustulant green or just mm, pustulant dark green. green, black. No, I think I might do them a, a bright jewel green with pupils. Don't spiders not have pupils? Of course they, they have don't. Compound eyes. They do. Let's not get real. Let reality get in the way here. Mm. I want this thing to be. <clears throat> Slightly more disturbing than it currently is. Slightly more disturbing, he says. Hey. <laughs> well, there we go. That's the. It actually, on the camera, looks frightening like it's real. Yeah. Hmm. Job done then. Well, we have to. Um, wonder is how we managed to strap that house to the back of a huntsman. Yeah, it's an um, interesting bit of goblin engineering. Though. Mm. Oh, just one final thing before I bugger off. Mm -hmm. You know what I discovered today? Uh... Oh, not today, this week. No. <laughs> the Demon World Dwarves have got battle max. Yes. I didn't know that. Oh. 
<laughs> I was uh, I was just having a quick browse and I'm like, hang on, this is a battle mech. It's basically it. That's another battle mech. Yeah. What's going on here? Hmm. So in... maybe I'll just buy a whole lot of dwarven artillery and guys <laughs> with guns and battle mechs. Have, and them, like, have them yeah. as a mercenary unit. Um in the previous edition, they were steam powered, but yeah. um, I've retconned that away and said that they're just um, uh, runic magic animated. Because hmm. steam brings all kinds of problems. If you have enough engineering ca capability to produce reliable steam engines then you've got equivalent tech for naval architecture that can throw shells 10 miles. Mm. At which point a fantasy war game becomes very problematic. Like, Yeah, and that's obviously not the case when you look at the Dwarven artillery, yeah, exactly where right. it needs to be like more mass than the Soviet artillery to yeah. be effective. Let's strap 15 cannons together and call it a multi-gun. Yeah. Hey, I mean, and do it in a circle purple. so that we can be... Uh, rotating them. Rotating. And someone can stand in front and load them while we fire off the next batch. Yeah, you just imagine people stationed at uh, 12, 3, 6, and 9, each doing a job as the thing rotates. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that dwarven artillery does look cool though it is clay's painted one that actually really looks spectacular oh chicken mm. chick do you have to lick me i think they want their breakfast i think they do well short and sharp and sweet which is good yeah it's a bit, a, um, a bit of a relief, to be honest, because I've got a thumping headache. So, Well, fair enough. You should have said so, and I wouldn't have bothered you at all. Oh, no. So, a commitment's a commitment. So, True enough. And um, this guy's coming along nicely, too. Get out of the way, Catherine. <laughs> so, yeah. I will actually have... Maybe some miniatures finished for the fir first time in a fortnight. Who knows? No, actually, probably oh. the spider is not going to get done today. No, he doesn't strike me as a priority anyway. No. No. Got some noble armada stuff to do. And mm -hmm. some packing, and I've got to start thinking about how that Virgigorm's going to travel. Um, one of your foam cases, probably. Yeah, but I'm thinking I might make a polystyrene box to put just it in and then put it inside the foam case as well so that it's doubly yeah. protected. I need some way to be able to pin it down so that it doesn't rock. So that it, it it's clamped into whatever it's put into so that it yeah. doesn't move around because if any of those spikes or spines catches on foam or anything like that it'll just rip them off yep so, yeah. and um, good thing you can buy super glue in america buy all sorts of things in america <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on that note i should probably bugger off thanks maddie enjoy the rest of your weekend thank you dan and the same to you good luck with your um things that need progressing yes and um yeah hope everybody else has a great weekend too i'll see you next week